The Hall of Human Origins, sponsored by David Koch, one of America's biggest polluters. It deserves serious scientific examination. You better look someplace else for that. Drill, baby, drill! <laughs> A rally for big oil in Houston, A campaign against California's climate law, and an exhibition at the Smithsonian implying global warming is a good thing. What do they all have in common? Millions in funding from polluters. And one of the biggest bankrollers is called Coke Industries. They're an oil and chemical giant that's responsible for hundreds of oil spills across the country and countless climate pollution. National Wildlife Federation President and CEO Larry Schweiger says our climate's changing faster than ever. And big polluters like Coke Industries are trying to cover up their own responsibility. The entire planet is moving out of the Holocene, which is a about 11,000 year period that we've enjoyed uh, where we've had relatively stable climate on the planet. And we're moving to a period that the scientists are calling the Anthropocene. And I, I frankly think that's a misnomer. I think it ought to be called the Idiocene. Uh, it's absolutely reckless for us to, to cause the planet to heat up and to move into a, uh, into a temperature regime that we've never experienced before, that nature has never experienced before. David Koch sits on the board of the Natural History Museum, and he co-funded the exhibit along with taxpayers like you. The exhibit doesn't just blur the line on climate science. It crosses the line into advocating inaction. We're here at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History at the David Koch Hall of Human Origins. Right on the sign, they point to climate change, and we're really eager to find out what will sponsorship by one of America's biggest polluters do to the content of the exhibit. Uh, it will make no more difference than in the Reno's Nutrition Hall of Fame. One of my favorite exhibits, by the way. One of the first things you notice is that on the graph of Earth's temperatures, it intuitively you would think it would be warmer would be higher, cooler would be lower. No, this graph is flipped so that cooler temperatures spike up and warmer temperatures go down. Why, intuitively, would you do something like that, Dirty? Uh, you can spin this any way you want. All this shows is that mankind has gotten cooler. <laughs> Um, and I think you'll see it peaks with the Starland vocal band if you move down the line. I, I, I think we can move on. This is a pretty clear cut case. Now we're here at a chart showing carbon dioxide levels over the last thousands of years. It shows a spike here at the end today, but no explanation for it. Huh. That is curious. That's just curious to you? You don't, you don't wonder why it shows the CO2 spiking, but down here it has mileposts along the CO2 graph. But it has random things like communicating symbols, but no explanation here at the end for how humans have learned to extract fossil fuels from the ground and burn them at a dizzying pace. Well, I might ask you a similar question, sir. It has nothing like, on here about hacked emails either. Oh, you think hacked so, emails are relevant to the carbon yeah, dioxide level? I don't see how it's, uh, look over there. Now we're in a section talking about the constant benefits of civilization. The benefits being more food production, better technology, but the costs are only listed as more disease and loss of wildlife habitat. Certainly big costs, but nothing about the cost of pollution, specifically the pollution that Coke Industries emits. Well, if you want to talk about cost of success, how about the dizzying fall from grace of Lindsay Lohan? What a I, talent. I don't think Lindsay Lohan on the, the, the whole scale of human evolution merits a mention to you. I mean, why do you, do you don't think it's a coincidence that Coke Industries is not mentioned? Their, their pollution, global warming, Water pollution, air pollution, nothing. Once again, Twitter man, uh, you have to look at the big picture. What about all the people saving money by frying eggs on the sidewalk in the summer and in the winter? And here we have a summation of the exhibit that really sums up the message that we're getting here. That climate change is something that's always been happening, that is a good thing, that has made humans stronger through evolution. See, this is what I've been trying to tell you. Don't you want to survive? If you do, go home and turn on all your lights and leave your car idling in the driveway. Let's go to the gift shop. I don't think climate change is real, and neither like the polluters. Jim Inhofe is right. Not funny. To the uh, stuffed animals, there's uh, no polar bears. Well, Mr. Coke thought it was a good idea to phase them out now so people don't get to attach, you know, sound business decision. Well, as we leave this exhibit, in all seriousness, I had read a lot about this exhibit coming in, and I was still pretty shocked to see how the Coke Foundation and the Smithsonian has been complicit. 
and using the veneer of science on things like evolution while completely ignoring the impact of man-made activities on climate change. What I've learned is that polluters are doing us a favor. Cooks, money well spent. It's certainly not just the Smithsonian. If there's a rally in your community attacking climate science, chances are it was bankrolled by big polluters like Coke Industries. And you can expect to see more of them as the elections get closer. Well, subscribe to our Climate Capsule videos at youtube.com slash nationalwildlife. You can keep up with all the latest climate news at wildlifepromise.org. One of the key scientific points of the exhibit is that early human beings were horrifying to the point of being nightmare-inducing. Don't you agree, Dirty? Dirty? It's Dirty. It's here. Do you need some alone time? I, I, I need to see a better girl. You better move ahead. Har, har.